for some, judo is just a sport. For me, judo is my life. Winning the Olympic title was my biggest accomplishment. Defending it will be my biggest challenge. To me, judo means respect, fair play and self-control. I am Lukas Krpalek. I love judo because I love the challenge. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the draw for the European Junior Judo Championships Luxembourg 2021. Just before we begin, let's take a look at our video for our promotion for this event. To give the welcome words on behalf of the European Judo Union, please welcome EGU Vice President, Mr. Michael Vachoun. Dear President René Scholl, ladies and gentlemen, it's my great pleasure and honor to welcome the delegations of 43 AJU member federations to the European Junior Championships 2022. First of all, I would like to thank on behalf of the President, AJU President, Mr. Sergei Solovichik, and the entire Judo family of Europe to the Luxembourg Judo Federation, the organizing team, the volunteers, all who made this extraordinary effort to host this important event in this wonderful arena in booming city of Luxembourg in cooperation with the European Judo Union. The European Judo Union has a long-term priority to support and to prepare the best conditions for development of hopeful in judoka for the athletes steaming for Olympics for their international career. The European Championships is always very important part of their preparation. And uh, I would like to thank and wish all of you, all of us, the best possible level of the competition in friendship with the good memories of Luxembourg, of of the championship, regardless. I hope for our athletes that they will have the memories which will carry with them all their sport life and for the future. I wish you all all the best success and uh, good memories of Luxembourg 2022.
President of the Luxembourg Judo Federation, Mr. Serge Scholl. Hello and welcome here in Luxembourg. We are proud to organize a such tournament despite these difficult times. I say thank you to you all for coming to us and I, will hope, I hope we will have fun together. Thank you very much. With information regarding COVID-19 regulations, please welcome EGU Head Office Director, Mr. Martin Poiker. Dear delegations, um, welcome to this important tournament. Um, I have bad news. <laughs> the pandemic is not over, but the good news is we have the event. And we have the event because uh, all of you are following the rules. Uh, we are following the rules of IGF. And this is the basis why we can have events. And I think judo in general is, is outstanding sport showing the world that we can have safe events. Uh, to proceed, it's very important to um, follow the IGF protocol. So uh, please be aware there will be a disciplinary action if somebody will not follow, but it should not be the threat making people following the rules. It should be the clear understanding that we have to take care of each other and I kindly ask all coaches, COVID managers, athletes to really understand that we cannot discuss these rules. These rules must be followed. And to wear a mask, for example, is a very, very simple measure. It doesn't hurt and it's really, really important. So please wear the mask over nose and mouth, uh, except while eating and, of course, during active training and competition. It's also important to keep distance as much as possible. So uh, it's still this rule of 1.5 meter. So please um, stay uh, away 1.5 meter in the tribune also as much as possible during, during uh, lunch and dinner. In the hotels, the space for uh, lunch and dinner is a bit limited. So there all teams are kind of requested to keep the time in the restaurant very short. So uh, eat, but after you have finished, please leave. Um, it's very important to wear the accreditation cards visibly all the time because the accreditation card is the sign that uh, you are a proper member of our bubble and that you have a negative COVID test. If somebody is met without accreditation card, it's infringement of COVID rules and will lead to disqualification. So the card must be on, worn all the time visibly outside of the hotel room. Also the bubble, um, you, you saw now the place already. So we have two hotels and the sport hall. It's very important to um, stay in the bubble. So uh, stay in your hotel, in both hotels, there are outside areas where you can have fresh air. Also here in the sport hall, it is possible to go outside. If somebody is met uh, uh, outside of the bubble, it is also disqualification. So what we uh, want to underline here, of course, a mistake can happen. So there will be uh, official warning for free, more or less. So for the first incident, there will be the warning and from the second incident, the accreditation card will be removed. So please inform everybody, uh, we don't want to remove cards. We want that everybody follows the rules. It's very easy to follow these rules and uh, we, we hope that we will not have such uh, action to take. If somebody gets symptoms, stay in the room, inform the COVID manager of your delegation and uh, the COVID delegation manager will then get in touch with LOC and with EGU and then we will um, uh, have the, the next steps. So far we have a few cases, so in general uh, the situation is very good, uh, very safe and uh, we have today again a lot of arrivals and we hope that this will be the case also the upcoming days. 
quarantine if somebody is found positive. Um, the quarantine time is 10 days. And uh, of course, in this case, the accreditation card will be removed. Um, those teams uh, who need tests to travel back home, please um, come to the info desk. Actually, it was done this afternoon already to book uh, the, the exit tests. And uh, also via our Telegram channel, we are informing the teams who need a retest. So everybody who is arriving earlier than the day before we're in also need a retest. But all this information is available in our Telegram channel. So I hope that everybody is inscribed. And um, yeah, thanks a lot for your collaboration and good luck for this tournament. With information on running order, please welcome EGU Sports Director, Mr. Hoi Hoi Lindy. Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, dear colleagues, and also to the whole Judo family. Now we will give you the standard information about running of the event. So we have the way in in the two hotels. Already, the, you know the places for the way in. Also, we have the official time of the per categories. So here you can see that for day one, day two, and day three, we split the time. We will also share after the draw this information in our Telegram channel. Here you can see the time schedule. So on Thursday, we start at 10 o'clock. Final block is at uh, 4.30. Friday, again, we start at 10. We continue with the opening ceremony at 3.30, and final block at 4.00. On Saturday and uh, Sunday for a team event, both days we start at uh, 11 o'clock and the uh, final block on Saturday is at 4 o'clock and for the mixed team event at 3 o'clock. Regarding the warm up uh, area, so in the morning till 2 p.m. it's allowed uh, that the athletes are using the warm up area who are competing on that day and after 2 p.m., all other athletes can use. We have the really nice warming up area, huge one, so please respect this rule. A random way in will start 45 minutes before the competition, and uh, it will be at least 30 minutes after, after we start. So here you can see the uh, category distribution permits for day one for tomorrow. Also, we will share this on our Telegram channel. Here you can see for the day two. And day three. All three days we go round by round. Thank you. With information on marketing matters, please welcome EGU Marketing Director, Mr. Alexander Nakabin. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, dear delegation about marketing rules. Um, for judogi control, we are not changing nothing. In uh, advertising, also not change it. Uh, please pay attention for your logos, logos of your sportsman or of your federation. And the uh, left chest of your judogi must be only for national logo or for flag. For hygienic reason, reserve judogi are supplied only for exceptional cases. Athletes without any suitable judogi are disqualified except with documented loss of luggage or theft. Uh, in updated EGU rules, uh, please note that Matsura and Norris were removed from IJF list and cannot be used anymore. Marketing space, upper arm and shoulder stripes can be used only for EGU event by company Esimo, Ipon Gear, Green Hill, Adidas, Danro, Fighting Films, Feistand and Daedo. All other brands can be used only for manufacturer logo. Per uh, jacket, trousers, and belt. 
apply uh, sponsor stickers only for dry judoji. For blue judoji, we will use uh, local sponsors and the local partners. And for white judoji, we will use uh, logo and the sponsor stickers of EGU partner Ipon Gear. Thank you very much. I wish you good luck with this competition. Regarding information on marketing, sorry, regarding information on refereeing matters, please welcome EGU Refereeing Director, Mr. Alexander Yaskovich. Dear ladies and gentlemen, dear judo friends, the selected referees for this European Championship in Luxembourg uh, will do their job under supervising of very experienced uh, EGU referee commissioners. Uh, and we, uh, all of us, all together, we try to do our best uh, to make right decisions, to have right winner out of the mat. Uh, from another hand, I would like that coaches will motivate their judo players for positive judo to avoid, to avoid negative uh, tactic games. Positive, acceptable. And mostly, you have to strive for the score, better for a pawn. I wish to all of us to see uh, beautiful judo all these four days. Thank you. For up-to-date competition information, please join the Telegram channel by scanning the QR code on your accreditation. And now, to conduct the official and the technical part of the draw, please welcome back Mr. Hervoy Lindy. Thank you. We start with the individual draw and with the statistics before. Hello? Yeah. We apologize for the te technical mistakes. So here you can see also distribution for per weight, categ per weight categories. And now we will start with the first woman category under 48 kilo. Here you can see the CD headset. In the total we have four, 18 uh, ladies. I kindly ask the draw. We continue with 52 kilo category. We have 26 athletes, eight seeded. Draw, please. Continued with 57 kilo category women. We have 28 women on the list, as well as the seated. Draw, please.
Thank you. We continue with 63 kilo category with 23 athletes on the list. Here also you can see the seeded one. Draw, please. Thank you. 70 kilo category with 21 ladies on the list, eight seated as well. Draw, please. Thank you. 78 kilo category with 12 women, eight seated. Draw, please. Thank you. And the last woman category, plus 78 kilo with uh, 13 athletes, as well as eight seated one. Draw, please. Thank you. We continue with the men categories. We start with the 60 kilo category. Before we start the draw, we need to do the pre-draw for the position number seven and eight because they have the same number. So we have 30 athletes on the list. Draw, please. Thank you. 66 kilo category with 42 men on the list, eight seated. Draw, please. Thank you. We continue with 73 kilo category with 36 athletes. Also it seeded one. Kindly ask draw.
Thank you. 78 kilo category with 31 athletes. Eight seated. Draw, please. Thank you. In 90 kilo category, we have 31 athletes. Also, please see the seeded one. Draw, please. Thank you. In 100 kilo category, we also need to do the pre-draw for the position number eight for the seeded athletes. We have in total 23 athletes. Draw, please. And the last man category, over 100 kilo, with 17 athletes on the list. Also, please see the seated one. Draw, please. Thank you very much for your attention. Also, I kindly ask you to stay with us. We'll come back in the minutes too, just to prepare the draw for the mixed team event. Thank you so much. We are back for the draw of the mixed team. So after one year break, we are again with the team events. So we have 11 teams entered to the mixed team competition. I would like to thank to all the national federation who, who entered. Also, you can see here that we have uh, four seeded teams. Before uh, we start the draw, it will be again pre-draw for the position two and three.
I kindly ask you to draw. Thank you. So I would like to take this opportunity and also to wish good luck to the, all the athletes and the coaches for tomorrow's individual event as well for the next day in front of us. I would like to thank also to Luxembourg uh, Judo Federation and, uh, and the whole team who is preparing uh, this event. And of course, in the end, I would like to thank the European Judo Union team, IT team and the media team, who, as well as the computer team who ran yesterday accreditation and who prepare on this excellent draw online. So thank you very much and wish you good luck. I apologize. We also need to make the draw of for the category with which we will start the mixed team. So we start with plus 70 kilo category. Thank you. Now that concludes the draw. We wish everybody a successful competition. Thank you. For some, judo is just a sport. For me, judo is my life. Winning the Olympic title was my biggest accomplishment. Defending it will be my biggest challenge. To me, Judo means respect, fair play, and self-control. I am Lukas Krpalek. I love Judo because I love the challenge.